that part. That And that's basically what we've been trying to tell y'all for a decade. Me personally, I preach this to all of my clients and you see it mostly on my content. But let me let me just break down what a craving is to begin with. I bet you, let me give you all an example. Let's say you've never, ever really had like a lot of fruits and vegetables in your life, right? But you eat a lot of processed foods, a lot of Snickers, a lot of Cheetos, a lot of Doritos, all that type of stuff. And you find yourself craving these things time and time and time again. Well, that means that that particular processed food that you have with, I'm talking about the most minute piece of mineral, whatever, nutritional value, whatever that's in there. Your body knows that if I make this person crave this, they're going to typically eat it so I can get something of what I need to make something work. But all of a sudden, you start doing like a detox or you just start adding things to your diet that's highly nutrient, early dense and has a lot of minerals in it too, multi-mineral. Then you find yourself craving all of these things that you're eating that's actually healthy for you. Now you see the weight loss that you've been waiting for. Now you see the inflammation go away. Now you're not as irritable. Now you can actually sleep. All of this plays a part in our cravings. Cravings are basically nutritional deficiencies. Granted, we have habitual and psychological factors that ramify into it. You know, hormonal imba imbalances and addictions. Stuff like that. I'm not going to sit here and talk like that doesn't play a role. But in its purest form, your body is telling you, I need these particular vitamins and minerals. So shout out to fam for this comment. I love stuff like this.